lots of videos to film today, lots of things to say, and uh, I might actually end up batch recording these videos so that I have more, uh, more content in the long run, because I've got some time now, and yeah, lots of videos to film. Very excited about today. What do you think? Do you think this is a good place to film, guys? I would say it's a perfect place. Conditions are perfect for making videos. Look at this. Yeah. So this is where we're going to film. And let's see. So I think I found the perfect place to film to film these videos. I'm not sure about the sun uh, reflecting. I don't know what, how the lighting's going to be. But look at this beautiful river here, running all the way through Bansko in Bulgaria. It's perfect. If this was uh, a little bit cleaner, I'd probably use this as a cold water dip, but I think there's some sediment and, and things floating around, and uh, I'm also pretty sure that the buildings here dump water into, uh, into this river. Anyway. All right, I don't know how the audio is gonna be for this. I don't even know how the video is gonna be because the sun is reflecting into the lens. Look, I don't think you should lucid dream every night, and there's a good reason for that. If you're lucid dream, but when you have a lucid dream, okay, it's such an intense experience. It's so overwhelming in terms of what it feels like and like the memories and stuff like this uh, that you you don't need to have that experience every single night for it to be profound and meaningful. And actually, the more you have it, the more often you have it, uh, you almost become desensitized to it in the same way that if you were to do something really intense and incredible every single day, you might eventually get bored of the thing or want to experience something different or new. However, if you have it in moderation, if you do these things like, you know, if you lucid dream in moderation, maybe once or twice a week, it always feels exciting and new. And uh, yeah, in my opinion, you don't need to lucid dream every single night. Uh, and I actually would recommend against that. I know a few people actually in the comments recently have been saying, uh, have been asking me, you know, how often do I lucid dream? And I've, I've replied, well, you know, what, between one and four times a week, depending on, you know, if I want to lucid dream, if I'm trying to do it and that sort of thing. Uh, and they would reply with something like, well, I lucid dream six to seven times a week. And uh, on the one hand, that's great. You know, on the one hand, that is really good. Uh, it means that you're, you obviously know and understand lucid dreaming and how it works and you obviously uh, can do that effectively. That's great. However, I would say it's better to lucid dream less in this case. I would say, you know, between one and four times or even one to two times a week is more than enough to actually have meaningful experiences, create beautiful dream memories without overloading yourself, without making yourself so uh, immune and uh, desensitized to the experience that it just becomes normal. Uh, it should always feel magical and exciting and new and, you know, fulfilling. And so I feel like that is easier when you're doing it slightly less often. I don't know if this is a popular opinion. What do you think? Um, I'd love to hear what you think about that because on the one hand, yeah, it's great to lucid dream more. And you know, one of the things when you first start learning about lucid dreaming, one of the first things you want to learn is how do I do it, and how do I do? How do I have more? How do I do it more often? You want bigger, better, faster lucid dreams, you know. Uh, but that's not always the best, you know. Sometimes it's actually better, and and you're going to have to take my word for this, or you know, try it out for yourselves. Sometimes it's actually better to have less often, to you know, less often lucid dream. But when you do lucid dream, do something meaningful instead of just fulfilling your materialistic desires like sex or flying or d demonstrating your power in the dream world, you will find long term it's far more fulfilling and exciting to actually do things like uncovering your phobias, you know, rem removing fears from your mind, improving your confidence, uh, talking to your subconscious mind and the different elements of it. I think. Yeah, I think there's actually an ant on my leg there. It's not good. Uh, and, and these things, they will be more fulfilling long term. You know, it might be slightly less exciting in the short term, uh, but then again, the, the effects and, and the benefits that you'll have on your actual, on your brain and subconscious and how you feel will far outweigh, you know, the, the benefits of having lucid dream sex, which, you know, is, it's kind of empty in a way, it's hollow. 
uh, it might feel good in the moment, but it's not going to fulfill you, and it's certainly not going to add anything to your to your subconscious mind, to your whatever, whatever you want to, however you want to explain it. It's not going to add anything to you. So that's my opinion, guys. Um, I'd like to know what you think. I'd also like to know what you think of this setup. So at the moment, I'm using my camera. It's uh, it's an action camera, so the wide, it's a wide-angle lens. The audio isn't great, uh, and if you're wondering what that weird noise is, it's just a river. It's just uh, this. This is the main river running through Bansko town in Bulgaria, and uh, I thought I thought this would be a good place to film. So, <laughs> what do you think? If you want to see more of my travels, by the way, I do have um, I do have a travel channel, which I'm sure you've heard me mention by now, uh, and that is Transcend Travel, which you, you'll find it in the description. I've been very I've made, I've made it very clear in the description where my, my other channels are and stuff like that, so you should be able to find them. And uh, leave a comment letting me know what you think of, you know, should you lucid dream every day, or is it better to lucid dream less often but have more of a profound, meaningful experience? Let me know what you think. And also, let me know, would you go and bathe in this water here? Do you think it's clean? Should I do it? I don't know. If this video gets a thousand likes, I will film myself on this channel jumping or wading out into this ice cold water here for you guys uh hopefully it's clean but we don't know uh, that's it for now guys done thanks for watching guys this video and this channel are supported by my patreon followers please consider giving just a dollar a month to support this channel or just click the links in the description you'll find links to various lucid dreaming products articles techniques and tutorials if you did enjoy this video please click the notification bell and subscribe and i'll see you next time why are you still watching this? You should have clicked one of my related videos by now, right? Or subscribed or gone onto my website or something like that.